guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are a regular subscriber, you will probably realise that this isn't my normal background and you probably recognise my current state from my last video. So today I wanted to do something a little bit different. I wanted to take you through my overnight pamper routine for when I want to really spoil myself. So I'm starting now because I feel like with all this green, this is the perfect time to do a full on pamper routine. Plus I have a ton of hairspray in my hair. So I need to wash it and I've been using the Olaplex 123 system. So I will be showing you that today. So this video is gonna be a little more casual than my usual videos. It's not quite a vlog, but it's not a normal video. So yeah. So anyway, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna go take a shower and remove all of this green. Okay, so I want to limit the amount of time I spend talking looking like the Grinch, but I just quickly wanted to show you a few of the things that I will be using in the shower, starting with these. These are from The Body Shop. They're just standard exfoliating gloves. I find these so much easier to use than a scrub because you can just use it with your normal body wash. And I did a tan last maybe two, three weeks ago. So it's mostly gone, but I still have some stubborn bits of tan that I really, really need to scrub off. Plus I will be shaving my legs today and I like to exfoliate before I shave because I just find that my legs come out a lot smoother afterwards. I also sometimes use this scrub by Rituals. It's the Ritual of Dow, I think that's how you pronounce it mindful body scrub this is what oh, smells nice this is nearly gone but it's quite a gentle scrub it's really really nice to use I don't use it too often because like I said I prefer to use the mitts when I'm trying to actually get tan off but in terms of like trying to get this green off I might try some of this because it's a little gentler also today like I mentioned I use the Olaplex I think it's the 123 system or is it the 32 I don't know uh, but I use the Olaplex number no. three hair perfecter. It's currently upside down so it's easier to get out of the shower But I use this and I use the shampoo and conditioner. However today I'm not going to be fully washing my hair I'm going to dampen it and then I'm going to apply this as like a hair mask and leave that overnight because this video will be continuing to tomorrow morning. And the last thing I wanted to mention was the Body Shop Strawberry Body Yogurt. I have the mango one but I have a feeling I kind of want to use this one today. They smell so nice. So when I get out, I'm going to apply this all over because I will be reapplying my tan in the morning. So I need to make sure my skin is nice and hydrated. Anyway, I'm gonna go jump in the shower and when I'm out, I will show you my nighttime skincare routine. Hi guys, welcome back to my bathroom. As you can see, I just had a shower. I've applied my lovely smelling body yogurt and I just cleansed my face. I cleansed it once in the shower. I just turned the temperature down a little bit and that was just to get the majority of the face paint and makeup off. And then I cleansed again because I still had a little bit around my eyes. Plus I always double cleanse whenever I wear makeup, especially face paint. But anyway, I wanna get on with the rest of the routine because my face is literally, I can feel it just shriveling up like the Sahara Desert. And I forgot to mention, I use the Kiehl's Calendula Deep Foaming Facial Wash deep cleansing foaming facial wash. I think I'm probably going to stop using this after this bottle, but I just wanted to finish it because I don't wanna waste it. But it does have, I'm trying to get rid of as much fragrance out of my skincare routine as I can. And also my face does feel a little bit dry after using this. So I'm gonna switch to something hopefully a bit gentler and a little bit more hydrating. And I know it doesn't look it now, but my skin has actually been really, really good recently. So I think this routine is going well. I have basically just stripped everything back and I've taken out as much fragrance as possible. And I'm about to tell you about a product that I'm using which has fragrance in it. Ugh. So I've been using this kind of two to three times a week. It's the Kate Somerville Liquid Exfoliate. And both Hiram and James Welsh recommended this, which is why I thought I'd give it a go because I was looking for something to exfoliate my face with that wasn't physical. And yeah, it just sounded nice. I also have these reusable cotton rounds. I used to have different ones, but they were really absorbent and really rough. So I felt like I was constantly scrubbing my face whenever I was using them. And I would also have to use a lot of product just to get it to come out on my skin, if that makes sense. 
Um, so I've switched to these ones which are a bit softer so hopefully these are a bit better because this is the first time I'm using them. I just pump some of this onto the cotton round and then apply it to my face. And I've only used that a couple of times but I have noticed that it's really helped to fade my dark spots. And speaking of dark spots, next up I use the Ordinary's Niacinamide 10% Zinc 1% Serum, I just use three drops of this morning and night. I will be showing you my morning routine as well, by the way. And then I just leave that for a few seconds to sink into my skin before I move on to the hyaluronic acid. And I also use hyaluronic acid morning and night and I use three drops as well. I can't actually see anything because I normally wear contacts, but I had to take them out to shower and to wash my face. So I don't have my contacts in and I'm blind, I can't see anything. <laughs> anyway, so for moisturiser, I've been using my Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturiser. This is the very dry to dry combination skin one. And I basically just started using this one again because it's the only one that doesn't have fragrance in it. All of my other moisturisers have so much fragrance. I stopped using my Body Shop Toner, all of my moisturisers that had fragrance in, my Ole Enrics and Vitamin C Serum, stopped using all of them maybe two or so weeks ago. I don't think I've had any new spots. I think I had one tiny, tiny one just here, but it's so small I could barely see it. And my dark spots have been fading so quickly. So I think my skin wasn't happy with fragrance. Gonna use quite a lot of this just because my face, like I said, 50 times feels dry. <laughs> Sorry if you can hear my mum, by the way, she's on a Zoom call <laughs> with her friends, so just ignore any background noise. So finally, as I mentioned previously, I didn't wash my hair, I just wet it. So I could use the Olaplex number three hair perfecter. So normally what I do is I put this on, I wet my hair, I put this on, I leave it 10 minutes and I have the rest of my shower and then I wash it out. But you can also leave this on overnight, so that's what I'm going to be doing. My hair is so ridiculously long, and it's, I'd say about this much of it is just dead. I take quite a lot of this and I keep adding it. Try and distribute it as evenly as possible. So I absolutely love these little microfiber hair turbans because they don't tug on your hair the way a big white towel does. And they're not heavy on your head either. So I'm just gonna wrap my hair up in one of these and I'll be back in just a second. And that is it for tonight. Tomorrow morning, I will wash this out with my Olaplex shampoo and conditioner. And I will also apply my tan. I will also be doing my nails tomorrow, but I've had these on for like a week or two and I'm getting a bit bored of them now and I will show you how I do those. So anyway, I'm gonna go clean my room, change my bed and go and get something to eat because I am absolutely starving and yeah, I will see you guys in the morning. Good morning. So I have just washed my hair and I realized that yesterday I said the wrong system. I used the Overplex 345, I think it is. So I put the hair perfecter in my hair last night and washed it out this morning with the shampoo and conditioner, which is why my hair is still wet. But just before we move on to the morning skincare routine, I'm just going to finish up my hair with some Moroccan oil. So the one I use is this. I didn't realize that I bought the tiny bottle, but this just smells so good. So I take quite a bit, I take about that much, and I just run it through the length of my hair. Okay, so on to the skin. So I don't cleanse my face in the mornings, I just use water and a flannel. I try to be really, really gentle with the flannel because it is technically an exfoliating step and I don't want to over exfoliate my skin, but I just find it's really good for going like around your eyes and your mouth. But stopping cleansing in the morning is one of the things that I noticed helped stop my breakouts. I think I was just stripping my skin quite a lot and my skin is very dry so I need all the moisture I can get. So I just use a flannel like this one with some warm water and I usually just kind of tap it onto my face and then very, very gently rub over the surface of my skin. And now that I've cleansed my face, I go straight in with my hyaluronic acid and niacinamide serums. And as I said last night, I tried to cut out all of the fragrance from my skincare routine. So I actually stopped using a moisturizer in the mornings. So after I've done my serums, I go straight in with my sunscreen. This is the Bamboo Essence Keep Cool Soothe Sun Essence. This was a recommendation from James Welsh and I absolutely love it because it literally just feels like a moisturizer. I think it has hyaluronic acid in it, so 
I'm not too worried about not putting a moisturizer on, but I do wanna find a good moisturizer eventually. I actually recently just bought another two of these on Tonic 15 and they came with a free little keep cool soothe lotion. I might try that out and see if that's any good. So I'm taking about this much. I usually use a little bit more, but I'm right at the end of that tube, so. And with the sunscreen, I always take it down my neck and usually a little bit onto my chest if I can. But because it's winter, I tend to wear very high neck stuff anyway, but it's just in case. And that is it for my morning skincare routine. I will bring you back into my room and we can do tan. Okay, so sorry, I've just switched around again because the light is basically all gone. So I just applied my tan. I will pop some pictures up on the screen of the before and after. I use the Bondi Sands Liquid Gold Self Tanning Foam. I kind of switch between different tans, but the reason I've been using this one at the moment is just because hopefully you don't think I have a tan. It's a gradual tan, but it dries quite quickly and you can get dressed pretty much as soon as it's dried. I've just got like some baggy, pajamas on at the moment whilst it's drying but it's great because I usually do my tan before bed and when I do that I don't want it getting all over my sheets so that one is my favorite for that particular reason and in terms of application I use the Bondi Sands Mitt and also I've recently just got this back applicator the first time I used it it was a little bit awkward but I might just try this side next time but I have one of those like long connected mitts that you can sort of like rub your back but I find those really awkward because you can't get like between your shoulder blades that kind of thing so I thought I'd try that one out and it's pretty good I'm gonna let my hair air dry a little bit and I'm just gonna do a very quick face of makeup I thought I would just do it on camera because why not and then later on today I will show you how I do my gel nails but yeah that's the plan for the rest of the day so I'm just going to start my makeup and I'm not going to talk through this but I'll just list anything I use down below so And that is my everyday makeup done. I'm just gonna quickly whiz through drying my hair with my air wrap. And that is my hair and makeup done for the day. I'm just about to head out to Ikea with my dad and then I'll be back to show you how I do my gel nails. But I just thought I'd quickly show you my kind of everyday hair makeup routine. Anyway, I'm gonna go to Ikea and I will check back in with you later on. Hey guys, I'm back from Ikea. So now it's time to do my nails. So for my hands, I do gel nails. I use the Miley LED lamp for these and I use all of the Miley gels. So I will show you how I remove the old gels and then how I prep my nails and finally how I applied the gel polish. This was one of the best investments I made of 2020. I'm not the type of person who likes sitting in nail salons. I just get really bored. And I can't be bothered to find the time and then go and sit there and then pay like 20, 30 quid each time. It's just a very long process and it's very expensive. But now I do my nails myself and I do them every week. And it's not necessarily because the nails don't last that long. It's more just because I want to try all of the colors. So I just keep switching it up and it's a little bit of me time, it's quite fun. It does take quite a long time, but like I said, it's me time and I enjoy it. But hopefully this video will be helpful for you if you're considering getting your own gel nail kit. I've definitely made my money back based on if every time I did my nails myself, I went to a salon, I have 100% saved money. Plus, I was always really bad at painting my nails. They would just chip within, I kid you not, they would chip within a day. It was so annoying. And they would always look really messy and gross. And yeah, I just, I hated it. It was a whole lot of time for not a lot of payoff. So that was another reason I invested because these actually last and I've just been really enjoying having nice nails. Anyway, I'm gonna shut up and just get into my nails. So to start, I need to take a nail file and I need to file off the top layer of the gel polish. 
Okay, so once you're done, you should have sort of mattified nails. So next is actually removing the polish. I've been using the Magic Gel Removal just because it's a lot quicker and easier. But the other thing you can do is use this gel removal stuff. <laughs> Just use it with some of the lint wipes and then wrap your nails in tin foil. I would suggest going for this though because this only takes six minutes whereas this takes 20. So yeah, I'm just going to apply this and wait six minutes and then we will proceed. Next I take this little cuticle pusher backer tool thing, I don't know the real name for it, and I basically just scrape off the polish. Polish? Polish. So when I remove the gel, I also use the tool to push my cuticles back a little bit. But usually then I'll clip off my cuticles using this, so that's what I'm going to do now. So once my cuticles are done, I will take a nail file to file the tops of my nails and then I buff them using this little block. And they're a pretty decent length at the moment, I want to try and keep them growing so I'm not going to file too much off. So the last step before we move on to painting is to prep the nail using the nail prep and polish wipe. Stuff. So you just put this onto one of the lint-free wipes and just rub it over your nails. So I've done the prep wipe and next for my base coat I go in with the 5-in-1 Builder Gel. This is just to kind of strengthen my nails a little bit because they do get quite weak, especially this one. This one splits all the time so it just helps to make sure that my nails don't bend too much. I do one hand at a time, I just find it easier that way. So I'm going to do my right hand off screen and then I'll come back and show you my left. Okay, so I just did my right hand and this is what they've come out like. It's basically just the blue with a little bit of sparkle on top. But I'm going to start on this hand now. So first I paint my nails with the Builder Gel and then I cure my nails in this lamp for 60 seconds. There's just buttons at the back here that you press, the little light comes on. I do the first and last coat at 60 seconds and I do the colour coats at 30. So I'm going to start with the build a gel and then we'll move on to the colour. Next moving on to the colour, I did two coats of the blue followed by two coats of the silver. So I'm just going to whiz through this but I just do thin layers, cure for 30 seconds and so on until I've built up four layers and then I will do the top coat. Now for two layers of the silver. Finally, I apply the top coat and then I cure that for 60 seconds. I also cap the edge, so essentially just paint the edge of the nail. That's just to help stop them from peeling. And then once they're done, I just take a little bit of the nail prep and polish stuff on one of the lint wipes and rub that over my nails. And then once you've done that, they're pretty much good to go. So I'm just going to finish up with some cuticle oil and hand cream. I don't really like this one though because it's a roller ball so I find it quite hard to get any oil out but I don't think I have another one. And that's how I do my gel nails. And that's it, that's how I get myself pampered. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this, it was something a little bit different. If you did like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button right now. And thank you so much for watching as always. I will see you in my next video. Bye. So I'm gonna let my air, my air. Oh, bye. -bye.